from Los Angeles. This is Montserrat Radio. In the spirit of the war against fake news, Montserrat Radio presents The Fake News Show, conspiracy news and a different point of view of current events. And now your hosts, Benny Wilson and Thomas Christian. Good evening, everybody. This is your this is your host Benny, and thank you. Welcome to the Fake News Show. Today we have news, breaking news. And before I say the breaking news that I have on hands, uh, let me just thank all the people. So you see, whenever I have time, I, I check my emails. Um, and today I had a little bit time. Um, so I check a couple emails. Some are really nice. Some are not nice. Some are uh, so-so. It's understandable. 
And so I decided, you know, let me just get one email out of that 25 emails that I received today, which is basically nothing compared to all those days that I've been receiving emails. Sometimes I either receive like 200, 250, and that's almost every day. So I would like to read this this um, this email that they sent me. It says, uh, good afternoon, Brother Benny. I write for several reasons today. And as you sound like a very busy guy, yes, I am. <laughs> I try to make this brief. First of, uh, first of all, I have to say that when I first heard, heard you on radio, on radio, on Monster Radio, I was absolutely floored. I had been holding dinner and down for many years and had read and listened to an endless stream lies, false promises, shameless and numbstab bullshit, as you said. You are the first person in all this time that I truly re resonate with. You're like me and that you are no nonsense. Pull no punches, tear like it is, type of guy. Provided what you have said is true since I discovered your show about a month ago. I was so happy. I couldn't believe what, was, why, what I was hearing. I thought this man is the real deal. Come straight from the heart. We have similar views on spirituality and unconditional love, race, or status in one's life. I respect you for your courage to say what, what must be said and let the naysayers fa fall away, a strong brother. While I believe what you have to say about the RB and banking connections, I do so without any proof. Naive some, uh, uh, naive some, some may say, but, uh, but my heart tells me differently. Thank you. I'm an ex-currency trader, which is when I saw the dinar potential. That has been plagued with 30 years worth of medical setbacks, including a liver transplant in 2003, and now on the eye on dialysis, a wedding for a kidney transplant. I didn't have the juice to continue trading as one problem befell the other. So I liquidated my forest brokerage account about seven years ago and dumped into currencies because I was being told is it going to happen any day now. I know you heard that before as well. Secondly, as a 62-year-old who focused on athletic instead of banking, which I now wish I had, I find myself very much looking forward to this revaluation and the information and care you seem to selflessly impart to the less informed audience. You say you are moving to iHeartRadio, and I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to find you. I try Facebook, but I cannot, but I get no notices or contacts about your posting. Perhaps I have that wrong page when you get a, pre a precious moment. Would you be kind enough to get in touch with me as I would very much like to get involved some way with, your, with you after the RB in respect to what you may have to share investments wise? You sound like a, you know what the hell you're talking about and people like the R are hard to find. Anyways, I'll give you information on how to reach me. You should have my email now. And I'll give you my private cell number so you find it, uh, the time for that. Let me thank you for an advance for what you already done and what is yet to come. All the glory to the Creator. And like I said, I respect I respect privacy, so I'm not going to mention his name. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much for your letter. I will get in contact, you, I will get in contact with you personally. And I will call you personally. And I will give you all the information you need. God bless you, brother. You see, these are the types of the emails that make me make me think about. You know, should I leave? If should I leave? Should I stop this show when the R, uh, if the RB doesn't happen by the end of the month? 
I'm not trying to be perfect because I've been telling you a lot of times I'm not perfect. I'm the least man in, er, on earth that I'm the, that is perfect. I'm full of crap. I'm full of stuff. I'm full of sins. But I try to, I try to lead myself with integrity and ethics. I just hate the idea that I had to hang out more for one more month for something that is stop, stopping me to go on. And ever since I've been saying on the radio that, I've been, that I'm going to leave regardless, I mean, if, if we don't see an RB by the end of this month, my enemies are enjoyable. They're happy. They're making parties right now. But for those people who need my, my approach, my information, they don't want me to leave. They don't. If I read you one more letter, I probably will change my mind, but I don't know. I really don't know. I really, thought, I really have to think about it. I probably will let you know by the end of this month. If we don't have an RIB, which I really doubt it, to tell you the truth. Um, already, already hearing from some of the venues that people are already mockery me over the internet. I don't care. They can make fun of me all they want. I don't care. Because whenever I say something, about 90% of the things that I say is going to happen, boom, happens. And this show is about another thing that I said before. I told you yesterday about the meeting between Donald Trump and the Minister of China and why they agree for Donald Trump to do about North Korea. And what do we have on hands now? We have the news that China warned North Korea that if they, that if they cross the line, they will nuke him. That's right. China said that they will nuke North Korea if they cross the line. It's on the news. As you can see, when it comes to elites and agreement, they don't care brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers. They only care about their own interest. I told you many times that whenever we have a, ch a chance, whenever they have an event, any kind of change in the world, it has to come from an agreement. It can be a signed agreement. It can be a written agreement. That. An agreement. And the agreement was between China, Donald Trump, and Russia. You hear me right? So now they're leaving alone Yang Pyong, the minister of North Korea. And they're leaving him alone because the plan is to Kill his image as a superior leader and superior God because that's how these people in North Korea think of him. I told you that. So we are waiting right now for anything but more chaos and chaos in that area. And eventually he will be overthrown by his own people. You didn't hear it with you didn't hear it with John Alex Jones. You didn't hear it with any other guru up there. You hear it here on the fake news show with Benny. Now Alex Jones give the credit to another guy. I think his name is John Posavic or something like that. I know him. <laughs> I know him. He's one of the elites. Do you see what I'm getting onto? Do you understand now what's what's going on right now? I know him. And he knows me. He's one of the elites. 
He's a speaker. Just like a David Busevic. He's a speaker. And a speaker, when they have the agreement, when they have the, uh, the mission, basically, they give the information to the world, to the nation, to the people, what they need to know. Not what they want to know. Just like I told you, DRB, nobody knows when it's going to happen. Why? Because they're only giving us what we need to know. Not what we want to know. That's their policy. They're not going to break it into for an idiot, for a nobody like me. They might play with us. Thanks God they haven't played with me. And I like David me saying, oh, that information that I gave from the from the elders is totally different than the information I gave from the dragon family. And I don't think that they're doing it on purpose to confuse us. Do you see how this clown is trying to manipulate you? I'm telling you, when you exchange, you will know their real faces. Remember my words. When you exchange, and there will be private, there will be public exchanges. Trust me. And after we do the public exchange. You will know what's going to happen to those private exchange. You will know on the news what happened with those people doing private exchanges. Yes, you hear it here before anybody. Before Alice Jones. I'm warning you. For almost two years and a half, I've been warning you, you do not need to exchange with private groups. Period. But you continue having it. You continue looking for for private exchanges bullshit. I just looking at it in the chat room. I just looking at it everywhere I go. I'm only thinking about what the hell these people are thinking. Do you understand why the complications are to do an exchange with a an entity that you don't know, you don't even know where they come from. I don't care if it comes from the West Fargo. I don't care for those people who are actually going through the exchange on West Fargo, the West Fargo group, you know, the 64 group or whatever they want to call it. I'm warning you. You don't need private groups. Somebody got to say it. I don't care if they don't like me. I'm already hate. So let's continue with that information that I got from North Korea. So why are they focusing on North Korea? Because we are going through a financial reset. And if the financial reset means cleaning the area, we need to clear all the bastards, all the criminals, all the corruption that affect one way or another the financial system. And this guy in North Korea is affecting the financial system. He's been affecting the financial system like you have no idea. You will know when he get overthrown. Luckily, he he's not going to get killed. He's not going to get killed, but I really doubt it. Because his own people are going to actually judge him. So, if it is a reset, and now that you know that it's cleaning, do you remember when they were killing all those bankers? If you don't, research it. Google it. More than 300 bankers died all over the world. There was a reason behind it, and nobody want to talk about it. I knew what it was about it, but I, I was told, don't say crap about it. Don't say anything. They were getting killed because they were cleaning the house. Those are the people who actually caused the 2008 and 2009 collapse. Those are the people. And they hope that by sending that message, they're going to avoid the imminent collapse that is coming. 
Now, let me just assure you something. The imminent collapse that is approaching is not going to be based on criminal bankers like the one that we had in 2007, 2008, and 2009. It's going to be based basically on the bad ethics and the bad business we did for generations. It's going to be the epic of all the corruption we had before. And therefore, we need to pay as a karma. So, it's coming. People are still making fun of me because I, I call it it. But I'm not the only clown doing it. I'm not. And when it happens, I will come back. I want to make sure that I come back to those morons making fun of me. Trust me. There is no most beautiful thing is to humiliate publicly to somebody that you know is after you. And I'm an expert in that. Trust me. So what is your intel today? Today is your last day of silence. And there's a lot of messages telling me, why are you saying, why are you calling it silence? Why, Benny, why? There's a reason why I call it silence, because we haven't had nothing about the RB. Nothing. No major news on the new pa newspaper, on the internet, nothing. That is why I call it that four days of silence. Tomorrow, I'm sorry, it's today, the last day of silence. Today was the last day of silence. And by tomorrow, you're going to hear a lot of things. All right? You're going to actually see what's going on. It can happen anything. And I want you to remember that the, the RB will happen at any day, at any time. Through this month. They haven't changed their mind. And neither do I. Thank you so much for your attention. If you're looking to write me. Please write me to Benny. With a N and a Y. Benny Intel. RB. At gmail.com. Or. Look for my Facebook page. At. The fake news show. When you see the newspaper saying. Media. Is controlling the world. That is my page. Thank you so much for your attention. And I will see you in another edition. Oh by the way. I almost forgot. Uh, beginning in about two weeks. Approximately. I will have a, a special edition. A special YouTube edition of the fake news show. And why am I doing it? Because I need my people to see visually the things that are going to happen. And why I am saying it is going to happen. So in about two weeks, you will see the new edition of the fake news show on YouTube. I'm working on it in the production. And also working with other platforms to actually promote it. So for now, thank you so much for your attention and God bless everybody. Bye-bye now. Thank you for listening to The Fake News Show with Benny. See you next time for more conspiracy news, current events, and intel from the most controversial show from Montserrat Radio.